Peachy Keen. Right on. Is that remote control mic? I mean, is that wireless? We're slipping and sliding uh, on our way to the MTV Music News. Okay, right foot. Well, Kurt thought up the Twister, and I thought up, up the Crisco, and uh, everybody kind of copped out. I mean, it would have been a groovy love session. Oh, uh, we kind of know them. Just we seen them here around. We met Smashing Pumpkins while we were in England last time. Are we allowed to like swap on other mats? Okay. I'm having a good time. I'm really surprised. <laughs> Uh, I don't like schmooze fests. What do you guys know about tonight's event? Well, it's a big uh, radio station schmoozathon, and uh, we came here yesterday and we brought the Crisco so we could grease our hands because we've been shaking so many. Yeah. It's a good time. Why? What? Why? Because there's 11 bands, and you pay five dollars. That's a good deal, and it's going to charity. So party up, Boston! Hi, everyone. Hi, mom. My dad. There's different segments of different bands that do different things, you know, but. I think that there's, uh, there's pretty good, uh, kind of, for lack of a better term, sort of a nurturing spirit between certain bands, you know, or camaraderie, I guess is a better word. We all have huge respect for Nevada, and uh, we played with uh, the Smashing Pumpkins in Chicago before. We like them. Um, I sort of like Chapter House. The good thing about this is it does uh, involve you with bands that you wouldn't usually be playing with, so it's kind of nice to get that. that uh, or mismatching of musical styles, which is kind of refreshing, because it's uh, it can get quite overbearing in England to have um, bands playing within a particular environment. The more you hang out with bands, other bands that have records, the less insecure those bands seem to be. Like on a local level, it was always dealing with all these weird insecurities because bands are always trying to establish their identities. But when you meet other bands that have records out, it's kind of you get past that and you get to make friends because you're in similar situations. Uh, yes. Yeah, we've met Nirvana and Bold La Volta and Chapter House, but none of the other bands. I just met Pop's Cool Love. I just met um, Billy from the Pumpkins, so I'm kind of happy. He's, he's a good guy, good stuff. Um, that's cool. You know, there's a lot of really good bands here. Pumpkins, yeah, I really like their record. School Official here, I like them. That's great. I'm, I feel um, privileged. I think we all feel kind of privileged to be playing with them. It's good. Are there any bands that uh, yeah. Wonder stuff we wanted to see. We played with them at the Phoenix, the Q Fest. Quite like to see us, but I don't think I'll, I'll get the chance to do that. You know? I think uh, is it Cliffs of Danoon or Dineen or whatever it is. Yeah, the Cliffs of Danoon. Yeah, we'd like to have a look at them. Uh, yeah. Smashing Pumpkins. We're like opening for them, and they're like my favorite band. So. Yeah, Nirvana. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Sure. Variety is a wonderful thing. Yeah. I mean, there's something okay. for everybody. Do you know Dave Kendall at Reading? He sat and he talked to me about how he thought it was so great that so many bands could come together at one show and entertain so many people at one time. What are we about? Deep, what are we about? Oh, we're just, just crazy rock and roll band. Are we even crazy? What are we about? We're just this rock and roll band. We play our songs, you know, and play them to the people, and people like them, that's like it, that's cool. So would you guys come oh, to see? Who doesn't see this? Nir Nirvana. <laughs> Nirvana. Why? Definitely. Oh, they're an incredible band. And the, their first album on, uh, on uh, a major label. Oh, that's awesome. Well, the band started in uh, 1987 in a small coastal town in Aberdeen, of Aberdeen, Washington, and uh, we were just jamming in this shack and uh, moved out of town, started playing gigs in Seattle, made a tape, Sub Pop heard it, and uh, the rest just keeps snowballing, I guess. Just, things just keep getting bigger and better. 
Sonic Youth, Melvins. Mud Honey. Mud Honey. Mud Honey. Shonen Knife. Readers. I don't know, pretty much everything we've already mentioned. me I don't know oh the song could be about anything really if you put your mind to it creativity is such a beautiful human attribute so we just like leave it to the fan and being on a major label you can get away with just like senseless babble always it's just senseless babble the whole thing what about the video the, the video is kind of interesting it looks like a high school episode we're Definitely scarred by high school, that's for sure. We played a show a couple nights before and we invited everyone down to do, to come down and just watch us do the video. And I don't know if they knew what to expect. So like 300 kids showed up and just hung out. It was pretty cool. It looks like you were out in the front really dancing. Yes, at the end I was, sure. For which band? It was Nirvana at the, at the end. What makes an audience really great? What do you look, I mean, what really makes it it's just, it's a vibe, you know? It's just a cool vibe. Everybody's having fun and nothing can go wrong. It's just beautiful. We're, we're going to attempt to play. No. No, we might have an iron lung on stage, though. That's, <laughs> that's possible. Do what? This show? Yeah, we we do anything. What do we say? This is we are. Nirvana, and this is the week in rock. Yo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>